Hello, Mystic Alpha here, and today in this Let's Draw video, we are going to draw a pony. Big surprise there. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's pick a color here. Any color. Let's pick this color. Okay, first we're going to start with the head. Take your circle tool, and draw a circle for the head. Usually ponies heads are round. Next up, we are going to start with the snout. Get that color there. Let's start with two types of snouts. Now you have a choice. You can do as the show does and draw a snout like that. But I usually do the snout like this. Now how you draw the snout depends on the angle of the head. If it's facing more towards the camera, you draw a snout like this. Otherwise, you draw the first snout that I drew. Let's move that down a little bit. Draw the bridge there. There we go. Let's fix the bottom of the mouth there. Now the program that I'm using here is Manga Studio EX4. There are a lot of neat features and convenient tools that you can use at your disposal. Right now I'm using the line level tool to mold and shape the head to my liking. For the outlines, I'm using vector lines, not raster lines. If I am to use raster lines, I can't use the line level tool on these lines. Now I've used the smooth tool, smooth that out a little bit. Use the line level tool again, hold it to my liking. Smooth out that bottom part there. And there we go. Next, we're going to start with the eyes. Now, you can use the circle tool to do the eyes. It's pretty much like an oval. But for me, I like to put a little bit more definition in it. Put some eyelashes in there. bottom eyelashes in there. Get rid of that overlap. Okay, now we're going to fill in that eye. Again, you can use a circle tool for the fill, but I like to do it manually. This is the white part of the eye. I'm using a different color here, so I can tell if there are any gaps. Let's make that white. Okay, let's see, which color for the eyes? Let's... Um, pink? No. Let's go with blue. Close that off and fill it in. Now, how I do the eyes is a little bit different from the show. I like to use two colors, one dark and one light. And when I do the black part later, I like to show 
the lighter part. Let's fill that in. Now we do the black part. Close that off. Let's move that side a little bit. And we fill it in. The eyes are usually the most tedious part of the face. Let's move out the sides there. Move it over just a little bit. Now we fill in the shading. Sides there. Next, we do the reflection. Move it up a little bit. And we're done with one of the eyes. Next, we'll start on the last eye. Now, this eye is a little bit more difficult to visualize. A good tip to know is that the eyes take up about 40 to 50 percent of the face. So keep that in mind when you make the eyes. And the good thing about digital, digital drawing is that you can use all these fancy tools to mold and smooth out things and shape it into what you want. Smooth that out a little bit. Again, you can use the circle tool to make ovals for the eyes if it gives you too much trouble. And then use the line level tool and the smooth tool to shape it. Move that up a little bit. Move that over just a little bit. Now the rule of thumb is the bottom of the eye goes slightly below the snout, top of the snout. And the top of the eyes go a little bit under the ears. the eyelashes fill in the white part get rid of any gaps And 
and fill the whole thing in. Make this white. Now we make the pupils. Get rid of the overlaps. And just use the magic wand there to make it easier for us. for the other color. And we fill it in. Next, we make the back black part. Get rid of the gaps. And we fill it in. Next we do the shadow. Almost there. the sides there. And finally for the eyes we finish it off with the reflections. Move that up a little bit. Okay, and there are the eyes. Save. Always save. Next we do the ears. Put that under the eyelashes. The ears can be a little bit difficult. So the best tip I can give you about the ears is to practice and do a lot of them. Good tip to know is that the ears go a little bit higher than the sides. A little 
little bit of fuzz in there. Okay, next we are going to do the main. The main is important. It is one of the unique features of a pony. And also the most enjoyable to draw. Let's see, purple. Yeah, we'll pick purple. Let's see how this is going to go like. Maybe like that. It's done a little like berry here. It's not good. I'll make it like that. Make it a little bit bigger. And go up a little bit. The general rule of thumb when drawing the main is that it curves upward a little bit. And it's slightly higher than the tip of the ears. So keep that in mind when you draw the mane. Unless you're intentionally making the mane flat. Next, we are going to tackle the body. Now, I usually don't do this. But for your sake, I'm going to draw two circles for the body to help illustrate where the body should go. Put that to the bottom. a little bit make another circle there I'll make it a little bit small there fade that into the background a little bit okay let's draw the body In general, the two circles are to help you draw the body. Don't pay too close attention to it. Go to the back of the neck here. Don't worry too much about the neck. The main will cover it in a little while. Clean that up a little bit. Move it back. Okay, let's draw the rest of that leg. It's not really no reference for the legs. So practice makes perfect. Don't make it too long, don't make it too fat, or thin or short. Just right.
take that back a little bit. Now depending on the angle of the body, you can choose to do the legs one of two ways. You can do it like this, or you can do it like this. The body's facing more towards the camera, you can do it this way. Line back a little bit. Let's get rid of the circles for now. Let's close off the outline. Line a little bit. Let's move out the legs. Move that in. I'll turn the circles back on to show you the difference. Again, you shouldn't pay too closely to the circles. It's more of a general guide. Okay, next. We're going to do another leg. At this angle, this leg should be slightly lower than the back leg. Finish the rest of the legs. If it helps, you can follow the back like so. Draw the back of the leg. Close it off there. Get rid of that. And mold it and smooth it out. Okay, let's draw the final leg. Let's 
Let's move that out a little bit. Next, we are going to finish off the main. Again, you can be very creative with the main. There's the end part there. Now one common mistake that some people make is that they draw the mane directly flowing from the head and that's not, that's not correct. The mane goes down the back of the neck, it's a little bit down to here. So keep that in mind when you draw the back of the mane. Okay, next we're going to do the tail. Let's make it like this. Give her a cutie walk. What should we give her? And what color should it be? Let's make it white. And let's give her. Oh, I don't know. Let's give her a star. stars around it move that up here another one there her flank is full of stars Make this white. Okay, if you want to draw wings, just draw this part here the outer part of the wing what's that inner part let's move that out a little bit for the rest of the wing Let's 
just make it a little bit bigger. There we go, wings. Now she has a horn. Let's draw a horn on her. Should be angled about 45 degrees. Be slightly higher. Smooth that out a little bit. There you go, a unicorn horn. Now when drawing the horn, make sure you draw the mane to go around it. It's usually best to draw the horn first, then draw the mane second. You can separate the mane into two parts, one above the horn and one below the horn. Let's get rid of the horn since it doesn't fit. And the wings. She's a Nerf Pony. Now we're going to start filling things in. Give her a lighter color here. Lots of filling in here. Temporarily close that line. Get rid of that. modify that outline of the head a little bit. Move this up a little bit. And make that blend into the neck a little bit more. And fill it in. Back a little bit more. Once you fill things in, you start to see the mistakes, if any, that you made. Then you go back and correct them. Let's make the head a little bit bigger. Let's 
move these two up. Make this a little bit bigger. Move that over a little bit. There we go, almost done. Now you can call this finish if you want, or you can add some shading. It's totally up to you. General rule of thumb of the shading. That you put the shading on the outside where the light hits. You don't have to follow my style closely. You can find your own style when you're doing the shading. For the body, I would like to use two levels of shading. For the mane and the tail, I usually use one. That shading. Bottom part of the body. some transitional shading. Second level shading. Okay, moving on to the front leg. back main Now we do the face.
shade in that face groove there. Fill in the nostril and the bottom part. Second let off shade. Shading for the eyes, 